Let's read and react to some of the top performances from Sunday. We're going to start with what CJ Stroud yeah. did, RC. Late in the Texans win over the Buccaneers. Let's go to the tape right here. We pick it up in the fourth quarter. 40 seconds, 46 seconds left, trailing 37 to 33. First and 10 at their own 25 yard line. And Stroud finding Dalton Schultz for the 14 yard line. At about game. this time, Marcus Spears was texting the group chat saying that CJ was about to walk the dog. And uh, that's what he did. I guess this is walking the dog. 31 <laughs> seconds left. Stroud's plat pass is complete to Noah Brown the 14 yard play right there Texans now in Bucks territory 16 seconds left second mm. and 10 and mm. Stroud Dying. that deep throw down the sideline finds Tank Dell for the 26 yard Sunday game service, and bro. Dell able to get both feet in bounds while he was running that was impressive next play 10 seconds left on the clock Stroud throws Meow. to the back of the end zone easy. it's caught by Dell <laughs> Dell's like yeah that's, that's easy funny. money that's walking the dog we did it all together uh, so RC walk us through just how impressive Stroud really was on Sunday. For well, Dan is on his way back from Germany, so somebody had to get on some of these tapes. When you look at what C.J. Stroud did the last two plays of this drive, drive it was extremely impressive. Now, you're going to get a China 7, which is meaning you're going to get someone to the flat and someone on the post corner. You want to affect the corner and also D. Delaney, the safety, who will be in cover two. Here you see C.J. Stroud staring down the middle of the field. That's going to hold Delaney to the hash mark. And now he hits Tank Dell over the top he gets that toe drag swag in and now you have an opportunity to score here's what's beautiful they give you a condensed split trips so Carlton Davis is now outside you're going to get a double post he holds the inside safety on that inside post on Noah Brown with his vision and now with Carlton Davis outside Tangdale is able to slip inside of him easy throw and catch for CJ Stroud it shows that he understands what he's getting from an offensive and defensive perspective and knows how to manipulate defenders with his eyes already at this young age and the poise and efficiency and accuracy to put the ball exactly where it needs to be. Dude, he looks like a veteran. And not only did he set a rookie record, but RC, he also became just the sixth player overall to record 450 pass yards, five passing touchdowns, zero interceptions in a single game all the time. The monster, numbers are man. crazy. Yeah. Okay, it's been fun to watch. Let's get to another really crazy moment that was a whole lot of fun yesterday as we bring Adam and Marcus in here. How about this Minnesota game, okay? Unbelievable for Josh Dobbs. <laughs> Let's pick it up here as Josh Dobbs in for Jaron Hall, who was ruled out in the first quarter. This is in the fourth quarter, a minute and 19 left. Dobbs goes deep to Jordan Addison for the 24-yard gain. We're going to take a look. You see Addison gets both feet in, control of the ball right there. All right, so as we continue on, first down for the Vikings. 52 seconds left in the game. Vikings with fourth and seven on the Atlanta 34. And Dobbs in a collapsing pocket. He uses his legs. He scrambles for the 22-yard gain. Let's go, Josh Dobbs. Huge fourth down conversion for the Vikings. Hell of a play. I know. I mean, look at him. Hell he he drops the ball or the mic, however you want to Just look at it. Just one here, though. 27 seconds left. Marcus, he drops back. Yeah. Finds Brandon Powell in the end zone for the six-yard score. The Vikings win. And here's Dobbs on learning the new offense right before the game. I was telling my, my family, it's like you've been taking Spanish all year and then you just show up on a Tuesday and you got a French exam on Sunday. You know, it's a whole different language, terminology. Um, but in the, the day, it's all bald. I mean, even just trying to wrap our minds around that, it sounds so complicated. But Marcus, you know this so well. How difficult was it what Dobbs did? It's, it's, it's damn near impossible. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, too. Like, we got to give Josh Dobbs his credit for his smarts, right? Like, I know he made that analogy about the test. But if anybody can take a damn test with no study in this Josh Dobbs, an aeronautical engineer is his profession, profession by trade, okay? That's, the, that's his secondary profession <laughs> to be an NFL quarterback. But more importantly, Boogie, the athleticism – and he's been in these situations before. I think he has some recall about coming in and having to answer questions that you don't have the, the, the study guide to. It was a phenomenal performance, but he leaned into what he does best. He's an athletic quarterback. He's already beat some good teams this year while in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And you show up to Minnesota, they need you in a critical yeah. situation, and he was ready to respond. The Cardinals gifted Minnesota Josh Gates. Sure they did. essentially gave him to the Vikings and they gave the Vikings a victory yesterday because I don't know how Jaron Hall would have done if he had mm. stayed in for the whole game, but it's hard to imagine he, he would have done that. as well as Josh Dobbs <laughs> yeah. who lit it up. And so now with Kirk Cousins out for the year, 
Josh Dobbs is the new quarterback of the Vikings. I'm telling and you. Can you imagine how good he's going to be when he learns the playbook and learns people's names without, and learns the offense? Without wow. Justin Jefferson, without understanding the offense, Kevin O'Connell does a really good job offensively as well. Oh, they got the jersey. Yeah, they're, they're putting it up. They're putting it up. You know, they want Josh Dobbs yeah. and Justin Jefferson, who's eligible to come off IR this week, to be united together. Now, we'll see when Justin Jefferson can get back. Initially, when he hurt that hamstring, it was projected to be a 4 to six week injury. This is four weeks. Okay. He's going to be meeting with doctors. Kevin O'Connell said today they'll get an update later in the week. It's still an ongoing process. Hmm. It doesn't sound like he's coming back this week, but it doesn't sound like he's far away Chef, either. Do me a favor and give me one of them Dobbs jerseys, please. Hey, I know well, you know remember somebody. that he couldn't even find one in the Cardinals gift shop. Yeah. He was looking around the stadium. <laughs> yeah. Remember and that whole thing he did? One. And then they put yeah. one in. It's a collector's edition in Arizona right now. <laughs> right. And it's in demand in Minnesota. Oh, on, oh on, that was fun to watch. We love these stories in the NFL.